So question four, the table shows a load of lorry was carrying X tons in the fuel economy, Y kilometers per litre, for eight different journeys. You should assume that neither variable is controlled. That is actually quite important. It just kind of dropped in there. But that statement is going to be quite important later on in this question. Part one, calculate the equation of the regression line of Y on X. Right then, for our y on x regression line, this is, this is the easy way of asking the question. This is the one that's in the formula booklet. y on x is the one that looks like that. y equals a plus b to the x, where b is sxy divided by sxx. So we need to work out what b is. Now, I, I have no idea, I'm not sure if it was in a real year, but I have no idea why this happened, but a couple of people seem to be using a complicated formula that is impossible to calculate given this information. So the x minus x bar formula, you just can't do it with that information. You've been given the information for the easy formula. So use the easy formula. So xxy is, according to the formula book, let's sigma xy, we've, well, we've never talked about it because you should never use it. x minus x bar. Yeah, it's, the other, it's the first one that's in the formula booklet. Have a look at it. But we, we, yeah. we're never going to use it. I don't know why some people were. I mean, they can explain that. Sigma xy is 334.65 minus sigma x times sigma y divided by n, which is 8. And I don't know that I ever actually wrote down what that gives me. That gives me um, 18879. No, it doesn't. It gives me minus 157732 as an exact value. SXX in the formula booklet is written as being sigma x squared minus sigma x when you square it over n. So we've been given that information as well. That is 481.13. Take away, is it 44.9? No, 16.5 squared over 8. And that one does give us 18879 over 800. We then need to work out B. B is this number, this number, divided by that number. 800. Just say 800 on that again. I said 800 on row 80. But now I've written 800. Well, I guess you should all look here. Thanks. So B is that one minus 157 over 32 divided by 18879 over 800, which gives us minus 0.208. To three significant figures, but we know this, don't we? We are going to record the full version of this in our calculator to use it in the next little bit of our calculation. So that's that's the rounded three significant figures version. Then we're going to do the rearrangement of this. If this is true for x and y, it must be true for x bar and y bar. A bar. And remember what we do with that, we rearrange that to say that A is um, equal to B x bar minus y bar, having worked all that bit out. And so then we stick the numbers in there, that is our minus 0 0.208 times x bar, uh, which is 60.5 over 8. Take away y bar, which is 44.9 over 8. We do that on our calculator. Sorry, Joe, thanks. Oh. Let me just... oh. uh, and it gives us 7.1. Well, I, I've used the rounded figure. I think it gave you minus 
Sorry. Yeah, Should have given you a plus, yeah. 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 I've got an extra minus sign that's the minus. You've got the arm and heart. I'm going to go I've got X bar and Y bar. Wrong way around. It should be Y bar minus the Did you do Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it should be negative. Oh, it should be, yeah, it should be negative. Oh, sorry. Oh, man, that's a privilege. Yeah. Go around. Great recovery. So it gives me plus 7.18 three significant figures, which gives us our formula of y equals 7.18 minus 0.208x and that's what we should have ended up with for not many marks, only four marks was it? Yeah. Yes. Then it says, so what happens if the load is 9.2 tonnes? Now is that x or y? That is the x value. The load is the x value. So that's just subbing x into our formula. So part two of x is 9.2, y is 7.18 minus 0 0.208 times 9.2. You've got complete error carrying forward marks here. So if you did a calculation that involved summing the right number in the right place into a formula with the wrong values in it, you still got the marks. You should have done. Alex is about to compare it in that. Part three. Uh, an analyst calculated the equation of the regression line of x on y. We have the y on x regression line. Without calculating this equation, <coughs> state the coordinates of the point where the two regression lines intersect. This is mega straightforward because we've talked about this so many times. The only point that you can guarantee that the two regression lines go through is, we call it the centroid, x bar, y bar, the mean of both. So all they're wanting you to do here for this one mark is to write the coordinates of x bar, y bar. Of course you need to write them not with x and y in them, but with the actual numbers. So that is, um, it is, do you know what, I've just noticed, oh no, I've, I've got it right. Um, I put this down in as exact values, 121 over 16 and 449 over 80. But if you put the decimals to three significant figures, you've got the mark just as much. Finally, describe briefly the method required to estimate the load when the fuel economy is 5.8 kilometres per litre. That first little bit that we highlighted in the original words of the question, we've not really referred to that. But this is crucial now. So... If we were saying that X was controlled and you wanted to calculate an estimate of the load when the fuel economy was 5.8, you would sum Y equals 5.8 into your Y and X regression line and rearrange it to find X. But X isn't controlled. Because neither variable is controlled, what you should do is calculate the X on Y regression line and sub y equals 5.8 into the x on y regression line because neither is controlled. So that's the answer to that last bit. Does that make sense? Okay, so what we should be doing is we should use the x on y regression line, the one that our analyst has calculated, and then we're going to sub y equals 5.8 into that equation. that would give us the x value. Okay. If x had been controlled, then what quite a lot of you said would have been correct about rearranging the line that you just worked out to find out x in terms of y. But because x was not controlled, y was not controlled, you had to use the other regression line to do it. There we go. And that's maths.